What is good everybody? This is Tatro. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I undertook a very big challenge. The challenge was to create five beats in an hour, so 12 minutes per beat. I definitely encourage you to try a challenge like this because I had a lot of fun doing it. I want to say real quick, the purpose of this challenge is not to complete like five totally arranged beats. That would be psychotic to do in one hour. But the idea is to have five solid ideas that could be transformed into full songs. The point is you don't want to spend a ton of time on something that you don't even end up wanting to finish. So spend an hour, come up with five ideas and pick the one that's the best. I actually did this using all samples from splice and today's video is sponsored by splice so if you don't know what splice is it's this immense library of samples loops one shots instruments drums they've even got presets they've got midi and i've literally had a splice subscription since way before they ever sponsored content and it has become a necessary part of my process all the samples are 100 royalty free no worries there you don't have to download entire packs you can download just single samples here and there if you decide to cancel your subscription which you can do at any time all the samples that you've already downloaded are 100 still yours so that's fantastic we got a 14 day free free trial for you in the description down below. So use that link, check out all the sounds, consider signing up for Splice. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this style video. If you want to watch the entire like two hour long stream that this video comes from, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. I would like you all to let me know which one was your favorite down below. Which one would you like to see me finish as well? Mine was probably the emo pop beat. The lo-fi one was so bad. Okay, anyway, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy the beat making process. Two, one, let's go. All right, we're off and running here. Like I said, starting with this Umru pack. And we're gonna make all different genres today, so don't worry too, too much. If you're like, dang, what the heck is this that's even happening here? We're gonna drop some of these samples into drum rack. Where'd that kick go? That doesn't even look like a kick sample. That's why I was like, what is that? So right now, this is the whole process of just gathering samples, right? Let's sort by loops. And then under instruments, I guess we could start by looking at keys. Let's find key loops. Oh, that's a lot of fun. I think one thing I want to do is chop the sample up instead of keep it original. So let's put it into simpler and go into slice mode. And the sensitivity on the slices, let's go lower so the slices are bigger. But now let's go ahead and dial in some drums. One, two, ready, go. And then if you remember, we have the simpler boom. All right, the first half I like, so in the interest of time, I'm not gonna just play that over and over again. Let's just make this an intro. Easy, let's just do a quick automation. We're at 10 minutes on the clock, Chad. I have two more minutes. Jump back in here. Uh, quickly find some effects, FX, 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 not loops. I might even just cut that there. Fine. That's the nature of hyper pop, right? It's kind of these obnoxious, I mean, not in a terrible way, but. Boom, I'll grab that. I'm just moving fast. We're at 11 minutes and 43 seconds, chat. And we're gonna have to move on to the next one. Just do a little obnoxious, obnoxious thing here. 58, 58, 58. All right, so that's 12, that's 12 minutes on the clock. Here's what we came up with in that time. See how fast we can come up with a song idea here. 
guys. Starting in three, two, one, go. Okay, so if this is indie pop, I'm gonna assume that it has guitar. So let's start with a guitar sample. Let's flip over to drums, save, and types, one shots, save. Let me toss that in here. That's totally fine. We're gonna end up rolling a lot of the highs off of all these sounds because it is technically supposed to be a lo-fi beat. Finding a bunch of sounds first before we get too deep into making the song. I don't really know the difference between those, but I think we got enough. A little accent. And, oh. That could actually work as well. We're, we're floundering. Really quick, let's flip a vocal sample. So fast. Because we have literally no time. This is going to be the worst beat of the batch. I just have it. I already know it. Adding some reverb. I feel like a bass is kind of vital here. These are indie pop, I keep forgetting. That's why it's like these nice, bright, poppy samples. All right, so I duplicate that simpler one more time. And then I open this up. And... And I drop that into it. Like with, uh, there's only five seconds left. I'd probably add a shaker loop on top of that if I had more time. But just like that, we're out of time. In three, two, one, go. All right, so like I said, starting out with this <laughs> cinematic vocal pack, which I'm just that a lot. This might end up being something totally different. I think we're gonna do like a trap pop kind of style. Three, four. I can search by samples that are already in my library, so these are not costing me credits. These are just straight up samples that I've already downloaded. All these options for sorting, obviously, are fantastic. And I don't have time to be picky. Great starting point, right? Okay, that's a fine starting point. There's obviously some things I did not like in there. However, let's go ahead and add a reverb to one of those hits, that particular sound I want a reverb on. So obviously, as you can tell, as I work through this and work with these samples, sometimes we leave samples as is, sometimes we detune, sometimes we add effects, but anything you can do to make it your own. If you think a sample is perfect on its own, fantastic. But if you want to add something like that, like a big reverb splash to it, that's the ultimate. We got this. Good, and I might roll some highs off that. That's fine. I'm gonna have to transpose it, but oh well. Turn 
that sub on. This is Ableton's pedal effect. Duplicating this track so I can put whatever this vocal shout that I forget. That's so sick. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, I think I have time to do one more thing. We have one minute left. Three, two, one, 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 one. All right, that's 12 minutes. I don't want to cheat. 12 minutes right there. I don't know if what I just did is going to work. <sighs> if it doesn't work, we will survive. I just wanted to do like a little intro or something. So let's see how that turned out. And I might. Three, two, one. One, one, one. Just a little fun intro. And then if we loop that. A. Three, two, one, go. All right. Mogul sounds, future pop ear candy. Let's see what there are for loops. Where does it go? Hell yeah. I do enjoy just detuning a sample in case somebody else has used it or just to like make it slightly less recognizable, you know? Not a uh, prerequisite, but it's something to consider doing. I know some people um, will Shazam a sample to see if there's a popular song with it. I can make that clap work too, even though it's like very rattly. That's the feel that I originally want to go for, so let's do that. See, I think we could do like 808. Tune the sample. So if you get a sample from Splice and you do want to sample it, it might be advantageous to you to just put it at C if it's not already in C. That way it'll match up with your keyboard. Two, three, four. Are there guitar one shots in this? Because then we can use not just a loop. All right, so there we go. Now we're playing the guitar. So we don't just use a guitar loop, but we have a one shot sample to actually play it in. If I have one point of feedback, it's please, I'm begging you, sort these by alphabetical. I just want a little flourish. We have 30 seconds. Oh my God. I know exactly what I want to do though. We have 10 seconds. Chat. I cheated. I went I went over, okay? I went over. Let's listen back. This would be fun to write to for sure. Hi Bartos. Thank you for tuning in from Poland. Three, two, one, go. Okay, these are song starters and I was going to say something that scares me is that a lot of them say hip hop. That's a good start, I think. Now I'm searching my broader library, but that cashmere kit uh, really kicked me off there. The thing about it is, I want to say, is like, okay, you get inspired by one thing, but then you jump back in and find the samples in your library that make sense. Do you have any house? We might want to use a top loop, so let me go ahead and just drop this in for now. Let's just layer this piece by piece. It's 
Good. I should have overdub turned on. sidechain because it's I think it's very important for this genre I can make that work that first note so this is a kit we used earlier but you can see we're going to use it now in a totally different genre we're at five minutes on the clock all right here we go one three four mm. Now, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'll tell you why. Because now I want one that's not a sweep. Good, good. Let's record. Two, three, four. See, we're getting a lot of one single sample. Sometimes there's samples that I feel like I, I, I hear them and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna use this. This is not what I would use. But then I'm like, well, let me try to use it. Let me try to subvert my own expectations and use it. So when you start to try to use samples or sounds that you wouldn't normally use, you can kind of quickly grow out of your comfort zone. That's it. All right, that took too much time. Okay, it's fine. Uh, 10 seconds. Uh, where do we want to hit? Ah, right there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, that's time. I might have cheated by like one second. Little housey kind of vibes. All right. Whew. All right, thank you so much for watching that. And thank you again to Splice for sponsoring today's video. As you saw, using Splice, grabbing samples, pulling them into your project, creating something new, getting inspiration, it's all super easy with Splice. And this is how I've been using Splice for years. So if you wanna check it out, use the link in the description to get yourself a 14 day free trial and check out the library of sounds that is available to you. What did you think of this challenge? If you undertake this challenge yourself, maybe like put it on your Instagram story and tag me or something, I would love to hear. It's a great way to inspire creativity, but put yourself in limitations so you don't get bogged down by too many details all at once. All right, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tedro. Have a good one.